dear students of uh, class 10 uh, welcome to you all in online class today we are going to uh, discuss about a super important topic of your ssc exam which is called trigonometry and uh, i think uh, you have all, you all have studied about trigonometry in your general maths and higher maths i will uh, be discussing uh, about uh, the concept which are given in your general maths uh, general maths trigonometry and so uh, this class will be a revision of theoretical aspects which you have learned in your uh, classes at class 9 and also uh, in your revision classes in class 10 uh, i will uh, just uh, remind you the concepts and uh, which will uh, which will help you to um, learn it very from very deep or uh, learn that which uh, which concepts are very essential to remember uh, for answering the trigonometric part uh, of um, of creative questions or of mcq and so uh, i will start with two figures figure one and figure two uh, look at figure one we have named the angle a is theta or we have uh, considered uh, theta as the trigonometric angle of uh, of a uh, right angle triangle uh, so when you are considered uh, angle a as theta of triangle abc where b is the right angle like this uh, then ac is the hypotenuse ac is the hypotenuse why ac is hypotenuse because ac is the opposite and uh, opposite side of uh, right angle so ac is the hypotenuse and uh, ab is the base or adjacent side ab is the base why ab is the base because uh, ab is adjacent to the uh, considered acute angle and BC is perpendicular uh, or opposite side. BC is the uh, perpendicular. Uh, why BC is considered perpendicular? Because BC is uh, opposite side of the uh, opposite side of the considered angle. That is, opposite side is called perpendicular, and adjacent side of the uh, considered angle is base, and opposite side of the right angle is hypotenuse. Uh, here also in figure 2 you can see uh, right angle is b uh, so uh, ac is the hypotenuse and uh, bc is the base uh, and ab is the perpendicular or ab is the opposite side so uh, basically uh, we can uh, for remembering uh, we can use the word base or perpendicular but formally in uh, your books or in uh, math books uh, base is uh, written as uh, opposite uh, written base is written as adjacent side because base is actually adjacent side of the uh, acute angle which is considered as trigonometric angle and perpendicular is the opposite side of the uh, considered angle so uh, what is base base is actually adjacent side of uh, acute angle which is considered a trigonometric angle and which is perpendicular perpendicular is opposite side of the uh, considered acute angle of a trigonometric uh, of, uh, of a trigonometric figure or of a right angle triangle so this is the uh, concept and you have to know um, that ac is hypotenuse ab is base or adjacent side in the figure one and bc is the perpendicular or opposite side you have to remember this uh, for all uh, uh, for all figure uh, you uh, you can draw a figure a uh, right angle triangle and uh, take any angle as theta and then find out which is the base which is the perpendicular and which is the hypotenuse and this uh, this is very important because often you will have uh, questions uh, given uh, questions often you have get, uh, get questions in ss exam or uh, in your tests uh, where a figure is given and you have to identify 
the base or uh, the perpendicular or the hypotenuse by yourself so it is very essential to uh, learn the technique or learn we learn which is uh, hypotenuse which is base or uh, adjacent side and which is perpendicular or opposite side so you have to learn this so uh, what is our observation or observation from these two figures and these informations our observation uh, observation is the side opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse the side which is adjacent to uh, considered or acute uh, or given acute angle is base the side which is opposite to the considered or given acute angle is um, called perpendicular so these are our observation and we have to memorize or learn this uh, to solve uh, figure based trigonometric problems or theoretical problems now uh, we will uh, go to trigonometric ratios trigonometric operators and so you know that uh, there are six basic trigonometric operators in your book or in trigonometry uh, which are called sine cos tan cosec and cosec so what is sine uh, sine uh, the, is the short form of sin -E sine uh, we write it sin sin uh, it is not sin it is sine and the um, long form is sin -E sine and the sine of an acute angle uh, say theta theta is an acute angle and if you uh, write sine theta sine of an acute angle of right of a right angle triangle is written as sine theta and sine theta means uh, the ratio of perpendicular and hypotenuse and the ratio and perp of perpendicular and hypotenuse is called sine theta like perpendicular by hypotenuse or sin theta equal to you can say more elaborately sin theta equal to opposite side of theta divided by hypotenuse sin theta is opposite side of theta divided by hypotenuse and if you are asked by someone what is uh, sin theta or what do you mean by sin theta so and then you have uh, to answer it like this way you may like answer it like this way uh, sine of an acute angle say theta of a right angle triangle is written as sine theta and sine theta means opposite side of theta divided by hypotenuse of the right angle triangle and what is cosine sine cosine means cosine of theta means cos theta uh, is written as cos theta and cosine of theta is uh, the ratio of base and hypotenuse and base by hypotenuse uh, what is base base is, base is actually adjacent side of theta by hypotenuse and hypotenuse is also adjacent side of theta but hypotenuse uh, it is not uh, called in trigonometric aspect and trigonometry in trigonometry uh, adjacent side means in the side other than hypotenuse so uh, cos theta is equal to adjacent side of theta divided by hypotenuse and similarly tan theta tan 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 me full form of tan is tangent and tangent of theta means uh, perpendicular by base and which is written as tan theta tan theta equal to perpendicular by base and so you can uh, write it in full form in perpendicular means opposite side of theta divided by adjacent side of theta opposite by adjacent now uh, you can see this uh, table you can write it down in your copy or uh, copy it down in your uh, copy or you may take it as a screenshot uh, sign or uh, short form sign is sin sign and when it is used with theta then you have to write it sin theta example sin theta and sin theta means the ratio perpendicular by hypotenuse so remembering technique is son equal to parent hypertension you know that uh, son uh, or correct, uh, correct pronunciation is son son is uh, son 
is parents hypertension if you are a son of your parents you know that your parents get hypertensed or your parent is always worried about you therefore uh, you are the cause of hypertension of your parents so it is easy to remember uh, son equal to parents hypertension so why do you remember this son equal to parents hypertension if you can recall this you can derive son is for sign uh, parents is for perpendicular and hypertension is for hypotenuse so, so uh, son is parents hypertension and in bengali uh, uh, we can we use an uh, rhyme like shagore lobon oti shagore lobon oti means shagore means sign uh, lobon means uh, lombo uh, that is perpendicular and oti it means uh, oti bhuj oti bhuj means hyper uh, hy <laughs> hypotenuse so uh, like likely in english you can english version you can uh, remember this uh, this sentence son is parents hypertension that is uh, sign equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse and cosine is uh, the short form of cosine is cos uh, you can write it cos theta cos is equal to base by hypotenuse you can uh, write it like this uh, cinema equal to beautiful heroine you can remember it like this cinema equal to beautiful heroine cinema is for cos beautiful is for base and heroine equal to uh, heroine is for uh, hypotenuse so cinema is equal to beautiful heroine is cause equal to uh, base by hypotenuse mm. you know whenever uh, whenever we see a cinema uh, always uh, they are focused on some beautiful heroine there so it is easy to remember cinema is equal to beautiful heroine and tangent tangents short form is tan and you can write it like tan theta and uh, perpendicular uh, tan theta means perpendicular by base how to remember uh, you remember it like this uh, thanks equal to please be gone uh, whenever uh, somebody uh, thanking you thanks then uh, in subconscious mind you uh, you can read it like this or uh, it is time to go now uh, or in root sense sometimes we thank people uh, to see them off thank you uh, it sometimes means uh, uh, please get out from here uh, uh, please please go now that is please be gone thanks equal to please be gone in root sense i, say, I said so uh, tan equal to perpendicular by this and perpendicular means opposite side and base means adjacent side so i think you are uh, already uh, clear about this and cot cot means cotangent and uh, a cot theta uh, co uh, cotangent of theta is written as cot theta cot theta is the opposite ratio or inverse ratio of uh, tan theta cot and tan i have uh, made them green because they are inverse ratio tan and cot are inverse ratio so uh, tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base then cot theta is equal to base by perpendicular and uh, base by perpendicular and that is opposite to tangent uh, cot is opposite to tangent and sec is opposite to cos so uh, sec theta or second of a theta is written as hypotenuse by base it is opposite of cosine second is opposite of cosine i have colored cosine and second with blue color and uh, you can say that uh, sec theta is hypotenuse by base and cosecant cosecant is um, cosec theta and it is the opposite of sine therefore i have colored them with red and i have colored them red and uh, here you can see uh, the ratio are opposite sine is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse but cosec equal uh, cosec theta is equal to hypotenuse by perpendicular 
so it is opposite of sine now you have to learn that uh, some complementary angles uh, complementary ratio uh, you have to learn that sine and cosine sine and cosine cosine means complement of sine sine and cosine are uh, complementary similarly tangent and cotangent are complementary tan and cot are complements and secant and cosecants are complementary so uh, i think you are clear about complementary uh, ratio and inverse ratio and also you have uh, now got a technique of remembering the uh, remembering the uh, ratio of sin theta cos theta uh, rational formula of sin theta cos theta etc now uh, you have to uh, remember this is super important so i am repeating it uh, determination of perpendicular and base depends on the consideration or depend, depends on the considered acute angle if you consider uh, this angle as acute angle sin theta means theta if theta means this angle then perpendicular will be this side and base will be this side and if you take this angle as theta perpendicular will be opposite of the angle theta and base will be adjacent with the theta so whenever you uh, determine whenever you get uh, a given theta in a trigonometric figure uh, you have to uh, consider the opposite side of the theta as perpendicular and uh, adjacent side other than the hypotenuse as base now uh, we are going to study uh, about revision revise our trigonometrical formula i think we you all know this sin a equal to 1 by cos a k cos a k equal to 1 by sin a cos cos a equal to 1 by sec a sec is equal to 1 by cos a tan a equal to 1 by cot a cot a equal to 1 by sin 1 by tan a and tan a equal to sin a by cos a and not a prime in this is comma uh, not prime they are not prime they are comma actually uh, remove them you may think that they are a prime they are not a prime okay uh, sin a by cos a and cot a is equal to cos a by sin a so these are the basic formula uh, i have already mentioned that sin and cosec are inverse uh, pro proportion or uh, cos and sec are inverse proportion so you can uh, think it like this sin a equal to 1 by cosec a and uh, these two formula also are super important tan equal to sin a by cos a cot equal to cos a by sin a uh, another uh, super important three formula are and not another uh, other three super important formula uh, are actually sin square a equal to sin square a plus cos square equal to 1 sec square a minus tan square a equal to 1 cos cosec square a minus cos square a is equal to 1 how to remember this uh, look at sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1 and sec square a minus tan square a equal to 1 you have to remember these two formula and when you put cosec square a and cotan square a if you put co here and co here you will immediately get this formula so uh, 6 and 7 are the same formula uh, you can say that 6 and 7 are the are very alike formula uh, where sec, uh, sec is used sec is changed by cosec and our sec is replaced by cosec and tan a tan a is replaced by cotan or cot and here uh, sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 and this is a very important formula uh, here only for this formula you will get a plus here Mm, and other two will give you minus here second cot and look at this formula uh, all, all of the formula begins with sine sec and cosec that is s based operator s based operator sine is s sine sec is with started with s 
and cosec. Uh, cosec is not started with S, but uh, if you uh, remove the co, you will get the S. So uh, the you can remember it sine, sec, and cosec are the starting operator of this three formula, and uh, cos, tan, and cot are the finishing uh, term of this formula and uh, cos is plus and other two is minus tan and quarter minus uh, so from 5 you can immediately get sin square is equal to 1 minus cos square by transferring plus cos square to the right side and also by transferring uh, sin square a to the right side you can get cos square a equal to 1 minus sin square a and likely uh, you can uh, get two more formula from this that is sec square a equal to 1 plus 10 square a and 10 square a equal to sec square a minus 1 also you can get two formula from here two from cos square a equal to 1 plus cos square a cos square a equal to cos square a minus 1 so very good idea to uh, prove these three formula geometrically which is given in your textbook uh, for one or two times to understand this formula deeply if you understand the formula deeply and by proving this formula it will be uh, sticked or glued in your memory uh, so I will recommend you to uh, see the proofs of this formula from your textbook and uh, I will recommend uh, recommend you to learn these uh, three formula sin 90 degree minus a equal to cos a tan 90 degree minus a is equal to cot a sec 90 degree minus a is equal to cos a that is sin 40 degree equal to cos uh, 50 degree uh, tan 1 degree equal to cot 7, uh, 6, 89 degree uh, sec 5 degree equal to cosec 85 degree uh, which means uh, if you uh, take sin of some angle and cos of the complement angle then they will be equal complement angle means uh, two angles on the, uh, where their sum is 90 degree like two complementary angles are uh, 20 degree and 50, uh, 70 degree 70 and 20 degree 70 degree and 20 degree are complementary because uh, if you take the sum of 70 degree and 20 degree it will become 90 degree therefore 70 degree and 20 degree are complementary angles of each other are mutually complementary so if you get sine 70 degree the value will be equal to cos 20 degree because sine and cos are complementary angles and also uh, computer ratios complementary ratios and tan and cot tangent and cotangent are uh, complementary ratios so if you take 10 uh, 40 degree the value is equal to cot 50 degree. These are the um, summary of this uh, three formula. And also, you have to remember uh, the uh, you have to remember the values for different uh, theta. Their uh, stereotype angles like 0 degree, 30 degree, 50, 45, 60, and 90 degree. And for these angles, you have to uh, memorize the value of sin theta cos theta tan theta cot second cosec uh, and you must remember you must remember sin cos and tan these three uh, rows uh, very first uh, there is no alternative to memorizing this or remembering this uh, you may uh, learn some technique to find out or recall the values uh, in a shortcut way or in a uh, quick way or you may uh, use the calculator to find out the values but I will recommend you to memorize the values uh, in such a way that uh, anyone if you asked uh, what is the value of sin 60 degree you can immediately answer that sin 60 degree equal to root 3 by 2 or say uh, wherever you see the number 1 by root 2 you can recall it like this 1 by root 2 
Oh, this is a very important number because 1 by root 2 is the value of sine 45 degree. Whenever you see this kind of numbers, uh, you must have to uh, compare it with trigonometric ratio. And whenever you get a trigonometric ratio like sine 30 degree, then you have to recall the number, the value sine 30 degree equal to half. Uh, you have to memorize it in such a way which will help you very much when you are going to solve uh, a, some critical problems of uh, trigonometry. So this is for today uh, and in the next classes I will be discussing about uh, some typed stereotype problems. Uh, 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 some stereotype problem uh, which are um, very uh, which are very common in uh, SSC exam. So uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, thank you for um, participating in this class. And I hope you are studying very hard uh, and preparing well for your upcoming SSC exam. Uh, Good wishes for all of you. Thank you.